So here is a really good question to ask you, which you might not have asked yourself before. What is a time that you could wake up every single day for the rest of your life? And what is a time that you could go to bed every single day for the rest of your life? You see, I, I can wake up at 4 a.m. Genuinely, I can, I've woke up at 4 a.m. And, and managed that for like a month and it was pretty good productivity and 5 a.m., yeah, sweet. But then when I ask myself this question, okay, every single day for the rest of my life, those are a little bit too extreme. I'd have to like start getting ready at bed like 7 p.m. or something, it's just too early. What's the, what is like reasonable for me to go to sleep every single night for the rest of my life? Let's say 10 p.m. I could always be in bed at 10 p.m. Maybe there's a very occasional like five times a year where I'll, will you know, I'll stay up past that because I went to like a party or something. But even then it's like, I don't even party anymore, right? So let's say 10 p.m. What's a time that I could always wake up? You know, probably 5 a.m., but that's a bit extreme. Probably 6 a.m. and you know, that's like eight hours exactly. I mean, I could always wake up at 7 a.m. That's like, that's lenient enough. So 10 to seven. And that just became my, my routine. 10 p.m. bedtime, wake up 7 a.m. And then if you're close to that point, so sometimes I'm really tired, I'll get into bed at nine or half nine. Sometimes I'll just end up waking up at like 5.45 or 6.15 and that's also fine. But you ask yourself the question, what could you maintain every single day for the rest of your life? And you may be so tempted right now to skip this. And one thing that this isn't important, which I promise you, if you can just listen to me and trust me, I promise you this really is. And two, you may think, oh, but like, I, I, I don't need to wake up at the same time every day or I can't, you know, wake up at the same time every day. I've got to change it for this one. I've got to change it for this one. I highly recommend you reconsider and I highly recommend you try and find a way that it can be the same time every single day, including weekends. And if you th genuinely can't do that because of this thing that, you know, it's later or it's earlier, maybe just consider whatever that thing is maybe reconsider it. So for me, it was kickboxing. So I wanted to actually have like the same nighttime routine, bed, you know, bedtime and everything and wake up time for a long time. But I couldn't because I went to a kickboxing club where the session was like 8 p.m. to half nine and I'd get home at like 10, 15 and then, you know, I need to like shower and stuff and end up literally being at sleep at like 11 p.m. So that kind of messed up my schedule like three days a week and it kind of like threw it off. Then I needed to wake up later those days because if I still woke up at the same time those days, I was often sleep deprived. So it's like, you know, it kind of messed up my schedule. I can tell you right now, I literally once I just sat down and I just asked myself, like, okay, so far, I've been like pretty much sacrificing my health, like, you know, my sleep to go to this club, but it like, you know, it really does feel awesome to go train kickboxing. And then suddenly I just asked myself, but think of the long term. Long term, do I want to sacrifice like a routine, like a sleep routine, which is deathly important to go to this specific club at that specific time? And I said, literally, I just thought like, wait, long term, this doesn't actually make any sense. And suddenly that's like what actually pushed me to look for a different club at a different time. And I ended up finding the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu club that I now train at. And I go with like at 11 a.m. in the morning. So that doesn't disturb my sleep at all. So it's just something if you are, if there is something in your your calendar, you know, in your schedule that you're thinking, oh, no, no, but I've got to stay up for that thing. I've got to, I've got to, or I've got to wake up for that thing. Just think is it worth it? Could you like, would it be worth it if you sacrifice like a good bedtime and wake up routine for 10 years? Just ask yourself that, right?